Hello, I'm Joey King and I am so excited to be here with Fenty Beauty. I like to keep my makeup routine in general simple, but I still like to wear a little bit of makeup because it makes me feel happy and more human, but it's not for everybody and that's okay. Okay, so first I start with my Fenty Beauty hydration primer. I also love the mattifying primer, but lately my skin needs a little bit more hydration. I don't know if it's frowned upon to put it on with my hands, but I'm doing it anyway, so. I'm also gonna get a little bit on my neck. I don't know why, but it feels good. It was my Fenty Beauty Hydration Primer. Let's get into business. Let's do some makeup, yeah. So I'm very excited to talk to you about this product right here. It is Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation. I am shade 150 in the Pro Filter. This is my saving grace, my absolute saving grace. I love this stuff so much because during a pandemic especially, I I don't like to wear liquid foundation in general. It just feels so heavy and it makes me feel like I'm like claustrophobic, like I'm going glam and I have a mask on my face. So if I want my skin to be evened out and natural and comfortable and cute, this is my favorite thing because it is so simple to put on. It's a powder, it feels like nothing, but, and this is the kicker, it doesn't dry my skin out, which is like unbelievable because everything dries my skin out. But this does not, which just shocks me because it's a powder. It's just like the best thing in the world. As you can see, it's a very lived in powder. I love it and I use it very often. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put that literally all over my face and my neck so that we're matching, you know. So that is on and I'm feeling schmexy. Let's get some concealer on these eyes. Let's do it. I am using Fenty Beauty shade 130. 130, because I want to be dark circle free. I'm going to apply it directly on with the brush. I don't know if people hate that, love that. And I don't know if this is what this brush is meant for, but I love it so much. And I think it works great for some concealer. So baby Buki, here we go. Do your thing. Oh man, I really put a lot of concealer on. I went a little happy there. I look like I'm wearing a little bit of, of war paint. I also just like put a little bit on my eyelids just to prep it for some eyeshadow. Okay, that's all blended. Feeling good. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of eyes. Not too much because, you know, we're not going anywhere. We're staying at home. We're about to go cuddle our dogs and maybe cook a meal and just feel cute. Just, just for us, right? Um, I am using the palette Snap Shadows called Nine Wine. The reason I like this palette so much is, oh, you can see me in there, hi. The reason I like this palette so much is because it has such pretty colors, but they're still very natural. And there's a little shimmer. I'm going to stick this brush inside of She Bubbly. It's a little shimmer, a little bit of shimmer. I'm just gonna put it on the edge of my eyelids right here. And then, I'm going to stick my brush inside of Sherry Fairy, and I'm gonna go right underneath what I just did. Just so we have a little bit of bronziness with a little bit of shimmer. And not too overpowering. Great, look at that, who is she? I'm gonna take this little brush, this little Fenty Beauty Cutie, and I'm gonna, that rhymed. I'm gonna stick it in Sherry Fairy again and go underneath my lash line on the bottom. I always love to do this with a, like a brown, like a lighter brown color. I just think it just does such a nice thing to your eyes. I can't think of a word, but it's a thing. I'm going to take a little bit of eyeliner, just a little. This is my favorite shade. It's called In Big Truffle. I'm just gonna cram myself into my lash line. Boom. I am a different person than when you first saw me come on here. I'm gonna brush my brows real quickly. I'm not gonna add any color to them, but I'm gonna brush them up. It makes my face look like I'm a little bit more awake. Then I'm going to do some cheeks for myself. I am mixing blushes. I am using Strawberry Drip and Fuego Flush. I'm gonna put them on my cheeks, not one of each. I'm gonna mix them on both cheeks. So I'm gonna start with Strawberry Drip. I'm just gonna get a little bit on each side. Use my fingers, because it's easier for me. And then I'm gonna 
Let's take a different finger inside of Fuego Flush and just add it right on top. Um, now I'm going to add the smallest amount of, of contour. I'm using Matchstick in the shade Walnut. This is a little lighter than I normally do if I'm going for a contour. Who's gonna see us besides our Zoom meeting? And that camera's real blurry anyway. I'm gonna put the rest that's on my fingers up here just so my face is like properly shaded. Okay, uh, what am I missing? Oh, mascara. I would like to do some mascara right now. I am using the Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara in the shade because I'm black. I love this mascara so much. I have very like long lashes um, and this doesn't clump them and it makes them like full but also long and like mm, it's just like a punch in your face of lash but not too glam you know what I mean I blink my mascara on okay I'm gonna do top and bottom so I'm feeling a little bit extra today <laughs> look at her she's so cute okay other eye okay now that that's done the only thing we have left is lips so I'm using my Gloss Bomb Cream. I'm gonna use this shade, which is called Honey Waffles, which I love because that sounds delicious. I had waffles for breakfast yesterday. I wish I put honey on them, but I didn't. Mm. I'm gonna dab it like that, you know, just so we're not too much right now. And then, then I'm done. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself while watching this video. And if you didn't, well, sorry. Mwah. See you guys soon.